Yo, what's up guys? Inko here with another build update. This is going to be for day two to three and build is feeling better than ever. Honestly, we're just going to jump straight into a map. Also, I wanted to add, I do stream on Twitch. So if you guys want to watch the build, come over, ask questions of that. There's some people that said they weren't sure if I did or that. So I'll say that in the intro. But yeah, we're just going to do a tier 15 map and then we'll go over the gear changes. Um, and some questions I've been getting in that, that I'll cover, like questions on Reddit or YouTube. I'll come back and do the expedition. So as you can see, just going through just really smooth. You don't even need to curse anything other than like, you know, tanky stuff like this, for example. You want to curse so you get that extra damage to him. Also going to leave them so this map showcase doesn't take a while. Come back to them though. Hopefully. Or I might forget. Who knows? Uh, oh, right. <laughs> Wanted to get them all to group up, but okay. Guess not. This guy wants to be on his own. And now he just wants to run away. <laughs> Alright. So that's the map. I'll come back and do the other stuff. I just wanted to show that real quick. Very smooth. Really good damage. Pleasantly surprised. As far as upgrades go, we're now actually focused more into being the hybrid build that was planned with block. Um... We are into staff nodes now, so we actually do have block. Next is going to be safeguard, of course, because right now we are 60% block, 24% block spell damage. So more spell block would be great, ideal. And we'll be getting more block. As far as upgrades go, as you can see, I am using a spore guard, which got a lot of questions about this, but honestly, it gives me an extra anoint. They were pretty cheap. I bought this for 20 C. Uh, socket and linked it myself. Got pretty lucky with that. You're more than fine on a five link, so anointed searing heat. And then on here, I anointed arsonist because I used to be pat down here, but I needed to save points for a cluster. So now we are in a fan the flames cluster. <laughs> Got pretty lucky with that craft. And enduring composure jewel. This was actually, for whatever reason, very annoying for me to make. Wasted a lot of currency on this. Um, so it's pretty bad, but. Enduring Composure is the most important part. Uh, I don't think there's any more changes with the skill tree. Other than, like I said, taking the staff nodes, the masteries. Because we didn't have a staff before. We did end up getting a Martyr. Which, let me see what are the prices right now. I think 115C. Yesterday during the day, I was able to get one for 100C. So I just went ahead and bought it. Wasn't too bad. Yeah, nothing else upgrade-wise. But I will talk about the gems. So, immolate. I just realized my gems are wrong also. <laughs> Oops. Um, okay, so, immolate is very good early on until you get martyr. Because immolate adds a lot of flat fire. Which then lets you take advantage of the uh, shaper flames. So you get a 25% more damage. And then once you're in a martyr, it's not as important. Actually, maybe that is right. I don't know. Maybe Emulate was better. Okay, I think Emulate was just better too endgame because of the changes with Ignite and 125% over 4 seconds instead of the 50. Makes sense. Um, but yeah, still triggering Punishment Elemental Weakness through our Vixens. Self-casting our Flammability. Nothing else has really changed. Okay, so, as far as defenses, 
uh, because leaving candy can be quite rippy and I got tired of dying. So I think I was around a hundred something deaths the first day because I can't help myself interacting with the league mechanic and it is quite rippy and I had like no defenses, no staff, no block, like nothing. So my deaths are down a lot since I went into the setup. Unbuffed, we are currently at 22k armor. No flasks up, no endurance charges up, nothing like that. The next plan is to cap our chaos rays because we are obviously very over resistance. Um, from there, we will also be taking out purity of elements. And we will be using malevolence. And then we'll make ourselves immune, cannot be frozen here. Reduce effective shock here. And then we'll do a ring craft to be immune to shock. Etc, etc. Um... A couple questions I do want to answer that I've been seeing commonly from YouTube comments and Reddit. So my flammability is on my secondary bar. It's on my Q. That's why you don't see it on the primary. Uh, it doesn't mean it's not there. It's just I have it on secondary with my auras and that and my Q. It's just what I'm used to. E is flame surge. And it's nice. If you have the room for it, you might as well put it in. I, I think the AOE is a little quite small on it the damage is just eh but i mean hey it's extra damage on top as long as the boss is like stationary if they move a lot it feels pretty bad um oh yeah vixens okay so people were saying that they were only seeing like one curse applied or something so for vixens because it's triggered now and triggered skills now cost mana you have to make sure that you have enough unreserved mana to cast all three. So my flame ability costs 56, you know, because it's supported by impending doom and that. And then if you look at your skills, elemental weakness costs 29 mana and then punishment costs 29 mana. So you have to add those together. And when you cast, you want to make sure that you're casting all three. And if you have mana issues, um, you know, just drop something, make more reservation or else you can get non-channel mana reduction. You could also use a replica conqueror's efficiency temporarily. Uh, I think that's about it as far as the build update goes. I'm probably going to miss stuff, honestly. I always do because I, I like to do it in one take. I talked about next we're going to probably go into being capped on chaos, dropping purity, getting my level in for more damage. Yeah. I think that's about it for now. Um, build is feeling very good, though. I, I honestly haven't even updated my flasks. Like, the, these flasks, other than making an enduring flask just to have, I've had these flasks since the campaign and that. I don't even have glass blowers on half of them. So, we will be optimizing flasks. We will be getting a roomies. I just haven't even thought about it. Stage advice, you know, stuff like that. Uh, currently in no rush to get into a black flame and change because. This spec is feeling really good. Damage is actually better than I expected. So that is very nice. Definitely enjoying League Mechanic, but before I swapped this armor setup in that, um, it was definitely causing me a lot of minus 10 XP. So I'm glad with the changes, the defense and everything is feeling a lot better. Just real quick too, you don't need a sport guard. Any high armor energy shield would be really good. Searing heat is obviously your most important anoint because it makes our ignite steel damage faster. And if you were not in a six link, you can drop inspiration. So you'd be using hex blast, immolate, burning damage, unbound, and deadly ailments. Those would be your links. And then everything else pretty much covered. Uh, I'll leave a POB in the description. Current link to my profile. I'll leave a description to my Twitch if you guys want to follow, watch, go over there, ask questions. All the VODs will be over there too, playing through the build. Like I said, I'm sure there's stuff I missed. So you can, you know, ask in the comments or come over to the Twitch, whatever. doesn't matter. As always, everything will be below. Probably missing stuff. Don't have an intro. So hope you guys are enjoying Scourge League. Let me know if you have any questions, if you're playing the build, if you're enjoying it. That's about it. Take care, guys. I will see you in the next video or in my stream.